And I recommend you guys just check this, check the setting. You're probably thinking that you're safe, your music is safe, you're, you're recording the best you can, but I just recommend check this. What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live once again from the simulation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get rid of latency when you're recording your tracks in FL Studio. Latency is one of three big issues on why your voice or your recordings or that song that you had, you know, the idea that you had doesn't sound good. And one of the three big issues is latency. You don't feel the beat and the beat or the vocals are not leveled correctly. Most of the time it's, you know, the latency or the leveling of the beat. But if you have a good leveled beat and you're still not feeling immersed, latency can help. So I know this might seem like a simple video, like, oh, it's just latency. Like I already, I think I know how to fix it. Like I thought I did as well, but there's really a technique and something built into FL Studio to make sure that you're monitor uh, monitoring your latency. We're only doing one take, but yeah, you're monitoring your latency. So I'm gonna show you how to, you know, get that. So you guys don't have that, you know, slump of, oh, I, I, I can't record this song. I can't record this song. I'm not feeling it today. And you know, this, this could be the issue. So go to your audio settings, right? And this is going to be for people that have interfaces. I don't really use USB mics on FL Studio. And I highly recommend if you want to, you know, do an advanced recording to get an audio interface. But you see these two numbers right here. You want to pay attention to this and to this. So when you're recording tracks, it's good to have three milliseconds or lower so you can have less latency. So by switching to my interface, which is the solid state logic. I'll put a picture of it right here. Uh, if you wanna, you know, check it out. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see what interface I got. But when I switch to this, look at how the numbers change. See how this number dropped and that number went from six to three. That's what you want. You wanna have no latency. So with the buffer size, if you switch it to your interface and it's not three milliseconds, you need to go ahead and switch it. This will really make or break your latency. So 128 gets it to three. You can see if I go higher, right here, we're at 512. Now I have 12 milliseconds. But you wanna get it to like three, three is a good spot, three milliseconds. I don't know for the focus, right? I think it's different. You guys don't have a safe mode on your interface. So you would always have to switch it to 128 when you're recording and then switch it higher to like 192 if you're um, mixing. So because I have a safe mode, I don't have to do that as often. But if you experience like you're recording and you experience crackling, it's because your interface is focusing on giving you real time recording. So if you ever experience crackling, uh, put your buffer size higher. And if you your mic crackles when you're on a discord call, it's because you had to leave the call, put your buffer size higher. I see this, a lot of you guys record a song and then you'll come back, forget to switch it. And then your mic sounds like all poppy and distorted. So yeah, this is really, you know, a big problem with that. So you always want to make sure to reset, leave the call and uh, just fix this. It's something you got to do with lower interfaces. My interface, I kind of just, it's one and done. But uh, yeah, so I, right here, three milliseconds, you would think that's good, you know, but this number right here, you want to keep it at least 10 or below so you can have the best recording, you know, without having latency and latency will, will really like make you have like your speech jamming up. You'll be, you know, stop talking. It's hard for you to, you know, feel the beat when you, I'm telling you, when you hear your effects live and it's on beat and no latency it just feels like smooth like you're skating on the beat it's like you're putting icing on a nice cake but uh yeah you can copy these settings if you want go for it but uh yeah our goal is to get this number 96 milliseconds to 10 so how do we do that what causes this number to get bigger your number might be bigger or smaller depending on your project but you gotta take into consideration of what's on your project. So right here, I have my master. This is what I use to master my beats. And if you wanna learn about the whole, this whole mastering chain, uh, I did a video on it. I'll link it above my head, put it in the description below. Also did one for stock, but uh, yeah. So this is my master chain and you see how we're at 96. If I mute this, now we're at 73. So what you wanna do is you wanna mute stuff that you don't need. I'm not mastering the song yet so i'm gonna go ahead and mute it you can mute it by here one by one by clicking the green dots or you can just click this right here 
this little icon and what this does is it bypasses everything and you see how the number went 96 to 73 when i did that so then now i have my vocal chain and we still need to get it to 10 and these plugins are really heavy especially if you use waves and third-party plugins they could really be heavy on the milliseconds so what you want to do now is go to your plugins some plugins not all of them will have a setting like this auto tune one we'll move this out the way real quick we'll put it right here so you can still see but these plugins and i always say this have you know to use low latency on your plugins. So Auto-Tune has a low latency setting and you see right here, I'm in the way, let me move out the way real quick. But uh, yeah, if you click this, I want you to pay attention to this number right here. We're at 73. If I click use low latency mode, boom. Now look at that, we're at 15 milliseconds. We're almost there to 10. And you're probably thinking, does this really make a big difference? Yes, I've been recording at 15 milliseconds for the longest. And when I did this, I noticed a drastic difference. So if you have a project or anything and you're higher and you're wondering like, why is it, why is it lagging? Or why can I not feel the beat? Or it still feels off to me. This is what you use to monitor it. So now it's all about choosing which plugins I wanna keep on when I record. So the reverb, if I mute the reverb, I could, you know, mute all the effects and I'll be at five milliseconds. I can keep the effects on and I'll be at 15. So now I got to choose. So I can mute NS1, that didn't really do nothing. If I mute auto tune, that puts me to 12. But you just really got to look for, you know, the plugin that carries the most milliseconds. So for me, it was CLA vocals. If I mute this, boom, it gets me to 10, right where I need to be. So now i can record and what i recommend you guys should do is if you uh record some takes you can adjust them and uh you know you can make a copy right here like we could go right here go to file save as we can make a copy but you got to make sure that it's you know disabled so you can save the milliseconds and all that but uh yeah you can make a copy and have one that's set to where you know the vocals are leveled so that we don't have to keep raising and lowering but uh yeah so now when you record you will have a better experience and trust me this makes a difference i used to use a focus right for the longest and i'm like why are my vocals like so off from the old interface and it's because the inner it wasn't the interface it was back then i didn't have all these plugins like i do now and now that i'm adding all these you know my computer is like, what are you doing? What are you doing? But you know, most interfaces, you you have to do this because you know the real, real pricey ones are the ones that you can load up all this stuff and you'll be you know chilling. But for my sake, you know, I had to take off CLA vocals and I could just turn it back on when I'm ready. So right now I'm gonna do a demonstration. I'm gonna do two recordings on this beat that I made right here. So we don't need this no more. So this is a beat I produced, and I'm gonna do two recordings. So we're gonna do one with the settings that I have on, and we're gonna do one where if I never did it, had crazy amount of latency. And I'm gonna show you how much of a difference it makes. So let me go ahead and record. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could see, uh, it's so just, you could, you could tell the latency. It's just stopping me from talking. It's just like, so like, it sounds good when you carry out notes and because of how I had it set, but you could tell like, it's a little, it's not as good as it, you know, can be. So now this one's going to be with the settings that are set properly and I'm going to just vibe with it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah
shine Doing what I can, yeah, I'm always on my grind Doing what I can, yeah, I'm trying to go and shine Feeling like Mario, super sunshine She said that she like me, I'ma take my time So, oh my god So now, I'ma mute this and take my mic out of here uh, but uh, yeah, so now we could compare this so I could like, you know, normalize this and normalize this and then you can go ahead and turn on all my effects. So I can go ahead and turn on the CLA vocals. Everything's probably going to be real loud, but you can see this one. It's like my mic delivery was choppy. I just know I just need to know I just need to so you could hear like the delay in my voice. It's just hard for me to deliver because I feel like I'm always being held back by my own voice. And then this one, it's just like icing on the cake. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. But yeah, it just... You know, it's something subtle and I recommend you guys just check this, check the setting. You're probably thinking that you're safe, your music is safe, you're you're recording the best you can, but I just recommend check this. Please just check this and tell me, tell me in the comments below if it made a drastic difference to you. I have really, you know, sensitive ears and I can hear a lot of stuff and this really makes me chop and, you know, have that choppiness. I know with USB mics, you really got to like do all this like hacking just to get it to, you know, work with no latency. You know, I'm trying to figure out because I have friends that use FL and they want to get into music. So if you know, uh, so if you know how to make mics, their USB not have no latency or reduce it as much as possible. I'd like to know like in the comments how you guys do that. But yeah, if this changed anything, helped you guys a lot, leave a like on the video comment subscribe for more videos like this and yeah like i said just let me know in the comments if this really really helped you but uh yeah that's gonna wrap it up for the video i hope this helped you a lot hope you guys enjoyed it join the discord server we're almost to 1k we recently hit 900 subs shout out to you guys you guys are the best you know supporting me i gotta come up with a name you know we gotta be the, the virtual squad or something that's you know not corny but uh yeah thank you guys for the support Appreciate you guys. My name's Virtual Beats. Hope you're having a good night or day. And I'm signing out the simulation.